What is going on, guys? Jake here with a new video. As you can tell, this is Man United and the possible signings they could make in the summer. The reason why I've done this is simply because I support them. I did it for FIFA 13. It was very different to this. It was an ultimate team. And United should be making a lot of changes in the summer. As you can see, I've made the manager name as Louis Van Hal because I, you know, I think it's just a bit obvious now. We're just waiting for, you know, the confirmation to come through that he is the manager. Um. So yeah, I, as you can tell, though, I am in 2015. Uh, where is it? Where's the thing? Oh, uh, you freaking check. So I skipped a year, now I'm in July of 2014, not 2015, I mean I'm like in FIFA 15, basically, and as you can tell, I have £108 million to spend, United have been given about £200 million to spend, apparently, in the summer, but um, I haven't done the fi uh, the budget, uh, what's it called, the um, financial takeover, I've done something else. It's a glitch. If you guys want me to do it, then please tell me in, in the comments below. I'll do a video on how to do it. Um, so we're going to go and check the shortlist now. Where's the shortlist? There we go. I can never find my way around all the uh, career mode. So the shortlist is obviously very big. There's a lot of players that Man United could sign. Start with the centre-backs. We've got Hamels, Garay, Mangala. These are just obviously rumours. Luke Shaw, United have actually made a bid. £30 million. We'll probably be able to get him really cheap on this. William Carvalho, another player. And obviously, we've got been linked with Thomas Muller and Robin. Streetman is another uh, centre-mid. Michael Royce, Tony Cruz. So they are some of the, obviously, some of the players that United have been linked with. Whether we'll get them all, definitely not. But obviously, I'm going to try and buy as many as I can in this career mode. Now, obviously, United have a lot of players they need to sell. Um, as you can tell here, we've got Hernandez. I honestly think he'll leave in the summer. We've got Young, Cleverley, Bebe, Anderson, who's on loan, more, most likely to stay. Fiorentina wants his loan spelt over Mikado, another player that I think should go. Um, and a lot of people would be saying, you know, why is Nani not in there? Because Nani obviously has been very inconsistent for United and just has had another bad season. However, I feel under Louis Van Hal he could change Nani for the best. I feel, you know, Nani has a lot of quality and hopefully Van Hal will be able to bring it out in him. We've also got the likes of James Wilson, Tom Lawrence in there alongside Yanazai. So a lot of young players. I was going to say Kagawa could possibly go. But apparently he's really happy at the club, which I don't understand why, because he doesn't get played as much. And when he does play, to be honest, he doesn't really play to his best. Um, Fletcher is another player that could possibly go. But obviously the key signings in this career mode are going to be the centre-backs, because United, we have just lost the f two main uh, centre-backs in the United defence right in the heart. Rio Ferdinand and Nemanja Vidic both leaving in the same season, right at the end of the same season. We could also, I reckon now Patrice Evra, you may see him there. I reckon Patrice Evra will stay for one last year because simply because we've already got rid of the two centre backs. I, I feel like he'll stay just for that experience and you know, just um, so we don't have to go out and buy even more players. He has been very poor defensive wise, but I feel you know he he will stay for another season. So I'm gonna start off by bidding for some players now. Um, I'm gonna start with the centre box, and first of all, I'm gonna go for Garay simply because we've been linked with him so many times in the past. He's 27 years of age now. He's got a lot of experience, and especially after this defeat in the Europa League final, hey Sevilla, I think this is the best time for him to go. And especially now, United really need a centre back. He knows he will be able to get a first team place in the Man United squad. Maybe in the past he had doubts about that, but now with our two main centre backs going, there's no doubt about it that if if he does come, he will play centre back and be one of our key centre backs. So I'm gonna put uh, I'd say about six million. Oh, six million maybe. Yeah, six million. They're probably gonna ask for some for more. Yeah, I don't know yet. My uh, Mangalo, I'm gonna leave for now. And Hummels, I don't think he should put an offering yet. 
just because of his value. 23 million is a lot. Next, we're going to go to Luke Shaw. I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'll put 6 million in again. I'm not sure what his rating is, but 18 years of age and uh, 6 million, yeah, just sounds decent enough. William Carvalho, I don't think we'll. Uh, I don't think we should go for him yet. You'll also notice that I put Axel Witzel there. Witzel, um, a possible signing for United. He's been linked with us in the past as well, I think. And I didn't mention this before, but Fellaini is probably another player that could be on his way out of United. However, I think he'll be given a second chance because it was only his first season. And um, I reckon, you know, Louis Van Gaal maybe might, you know, change the way he plays. But if Fellaini does go, I reckon Witzel will come in, so he's a possible player we could buy. Streetman, I'm going to put a bid in for, simply because he's from Holland, and Van Hal, if he's a becomes the United manager, I'm, I'm sure he will um, lure him to United with him. So we're going to inquire, I'm not sure what to bid. we got next, we've got Thomas Muller and Robin, and obviously again I'm going to go for Robin, simply because, once again, he's from Holland, so I reckon... Van Hal could, you know, bring a lot of these, these Holland players to Man United, especially if he's really, really, really successful with Netherlands in the World Cup. So we're gonna go and bid for him as here, and yeah, let's not forget he's 30 years of age now. So I'm gonna put about 15 mil bid in. 30 years of age, so maybe he will want to return to the Prem uh, or move away from Bayern simply because of his age. Muller, I think he's. Although we've been linked with him, I reckon he will stay. Next, we've got Marco Royce. A player, I think he has come out and said that he is going to stay for another season. But, you know, let's just forget about that. We're going to go and put, put in a bid. We really do, United really do need a quality winger in the squad. It's so going to put 17 million in for Marco Royce, and hopefully that is enough. And finally, Tony Cruz, according to, you know, several different reports, he's still unhappy at the club. Uh, maybe he was just, maybe he did, was going to join United. And now with Van Hal, you know, um, someone I think he's worked with before at Bayern, I'm not sure if he was there or not. Um, but 27 mil, that's a bit too much. They're asking for a lot here, some between 28 mil. I'm going to put it up to 22 mil and see what they... Uh, respond to with that anyway i'm going to give you a quick run through now of the players i bought first of all i got robin for 50 million from Bayern munich then kevin streetman from roma for 23 million then i uh, managed to get luke shaw for 7.5 million very cheap compared to uh, his price in real life and then obviously eventually i went and got garai for 10 million the original uh, price was 6 million i think or 7 million um and then Tony Cruz, the first them two players, I had a few problems with like contracts wise and uh, money wise. I've said Tony Cruz there for thirty two million. I wanted to get him for about twenty two, twenty three million, and obviously one hundred and fifty k, which his original wage was one hundred and twenty. Finally, I went and got Mangala for twelve million, uh, and I didn't get Royce because yeah, I just decided not to get him. There's a final day on deadline day. And this is what the squad looks like. Obviously, um, defence, we've pretty much got a whole new defence. Garay Mangala in centre-back. We could probably have Phil Jones there, but I think he still needs to improve. Luke Shaw left-back. Tony Cruz and Strootman uh, centre-mid. Um, then we have Kagawa and Mata on the wings, all possibly playing in like a right and left attacking midfield role. We have Wayne Rooney in the attacking midfield role. And Van Persie up front. So that's the possible starting team I've got for Man United at the start of 2014 and 15 Premier League season. Who knows what it would be, but yeah, that's just a possibility. Hope you've enjoyed, guys, and yeah, tell me who you think United should buy and a possible starting uh, lineup for the team. You can even include the bench if you really wanted. Um, but yeah, if you want to check out the previous video that I did for the possible United team, I did it for on FIFA 13 for what it could be in um, the season that's just gone by. It was pretty bad. Uh, I think the only signing I actually got right was Fellaini. 
and I tried to I think I put in Bale and I think I put in Baines, which obviously didn't happen. Bale went and became the most expensive player in the world. But yeah, guys, that is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed. Please do like, subscribe, and comment. And until next video, goodbye.